Okay, today's circuit was a 12 volt battery disconnect circuit. And what it does is lead acid batteries, you really don't want to drain them down low because the sulfation will start and the plates will get clogged and it won't hold the charge anymore. So what this does, now this is only designed for lead acid batteries. It will, you set it you set right here with this potentiometer, what you do is you adjust the low end cutoff which would be like 12.1 or 12.2 volts and what will happen when the voltage of your lead acid battery reaches that level that you set with this pot the circuit will actually open up the MOSFET and the load will be disconnected the only way you could reconnect the load would be to charge the battery up and then you push this reset button right here this reset button will allow the circuit the MOSFET to close and you'll have full power. Now normally the circuit is not good at handling like a intermittent heavy load like a motor so if you put a, like a really strong motor on a, on a lead ass battery the voltage will actually drop from like 12.5 possibly down to 10.5 or, or 11 volts and what would happen this circuit would trigger and then you would have an open circuit and then everything would shut down is what you don't want to have happen so I added to the circuit, which it didn't have, was 16,000 UF capacitors. And you can see the power feed right here has a shot key diode. So the current will flow in. Now the circuit only draws 6 milliamps, which is nothing. So the current flows in through here. It can't go backwards now. It'll charge these capacitors. And what's going to happen is if the circuit experiences a heavy load and it draws the voltage down these capacitors will act like a reserve on the voltage it'll keep it up for about three seconds while that load goes all the way down and it goes back up again without these the circuit will open up and then you'll disconnect I'll demonstrate right now push this button alright that turns the circuit on just a simple 12 volt dome light this draws only one point something amps. The MOSFET is designed for 10 amps. And if you want to control something up to like 20 or 30 or 40 amps, you would take the output from this MOSFET and you'd run it into a heavy duty relay or a contactor. And then you could do that. Alright, so right now it's on. I'm going to simulate the voltage is getting less by turning the potentiometer. So let me put my hand here. It's not going to be easy. I'm going to turn it. And what's going to happen, the light's going to go out. I'm simulating the voltage slowly dropping. Alright, light just went out. So right now, it's, the batteries are charged for about 12.55 volts. So this obviously is meeting the 12.55. That's why I cut out. So if I raise it up a little bit, turn it clockwise, it'll make the, the uh, cutoff voltage lower. So you want it around 12.1, 12.2. This way the battery won't be damaged from the excessive discharge. You charge the battery back up, and then you'll push this button, and the circuit will restart. Works really good. There's a lot of uses for it. But if you use it someplace where there's a chance that it can possibly fail and uh, open the circuit when it shouldn't, then you should put a bypass switch between the plus on the battery and the source on your, actually the drain on the MOSFET. So there's a lot of uses for the circuit. You just got to be careful what you use it on because even though it works perfectly, there's always a chance that this circuit can actually open when it's not supposed to open and then you lose all power. But it's really good for motors like small electric motors or lighting and it's like a solar panel you have charging up some uh, battery bank and then you get a couple of cloudy days where it's not charging and at night your batteries drain down. This will prevent those batteries from going way down and being damaged. It will actually shut off. And then once it comes up charge again, you just push this button and the whole circuit is back to normal. Real handy circuit. I used an old PC board I had laying around. A bunch of scrap components I pulled out of some electronics from the dump. And everything's bonded to the capacitors with E6000, which is the best adhesive I've ever used. It's dielectric, it's extremely strong, I recommend using it, you get it at a craft store.